At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Good evening, good afternoon, good night. Wherever you're watching this from, we don't discriminate around here. These videos are dedicated to questions and answers. Shit been going south lately. Okay, let's just answer some questions. 800 plus question submission. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. I tried to get to the best ones that kind of were general. A lot of people were asking. If you have a question you want me to answer, leave it in the comment section below. I will do my best to get into the next Q&A video. Let's begin this question and answers. Well, I came on. Hey, look, we're on that TV thing. Strap on your skates, you're going in. First question comes from my trainer back home, Brian Collins, and he says, do you miss telling me about your Tinder dates? Yes, I do. Mr. Soprano wants to know, are Swedish girls hotter than Canadian girls? I will say yes, they're 10 times hotter than any women in Canada, but when you're as ugly as me, it doesn't really matter because nobody wants to be with you anyway. Megan wants to know, how is it over there in Sweden? Is it better than Canada or the other way around? No masks, minimal hand sanitizer, socially distancing. They've been doing that for like 2,000 years here, so they don't really give a I don't have to get dressed outside the rink, come in 50 minutes before and not be able to use a shower. And when I do go home, I'm really not looking forward to having quarantine for two weeks. I already talked to my mom. She's like, listen, you're going to be staying in the shed for about two weeks. And I said, ma, can we get some meatloaf? Chaz, I think I'm okay. I, I had a bite right before. You know what? I will have some meatloaf. Let's have some meatloaf. You want some? Yes. I knew you'd go. Hey, ma, the meatloaf. We want it now. What is she doing? I never know what she's doing back there and she didn't like that and i'm probably gonna get stuck in a tent oh well are you ditching lefebvre now that they're true i wanted to talk about this in my six month review i haven't had a chance to get around to making the video and actually filming it my lefebvre 20.1 stuff is the best equipment of everyone the pads are amazing the glove is amazing and here's the hard thing i love the equipment and i've fallen in love with the 580 i've fallen in love with this 20.1 585 blocker i've fallen in love with the 20.1 pads true doesn't like me true doesn't want to support me so that true has bought out lefebvre i understand that from a business perspective lefebvre can't keep up with the big dogs with ccm Bauer if they don't have money being pumped into their research and development. True comes in, fixes that problem. They got dough, they throw dough at Lefebvre, they're like, hey, now we got research and development, we can make cutting edge products. I understand why they did it. Am I pissed off that True said, hey, cut Trav out, we don't want you working with Trav no more? Yes, I'm very upset with that because I love Lefebvre, I love what they're doing, it's a mom and pop, Canadian made, handmade equipment. This is the best equipment I've ever I wouldn't be as passionate about it as I am and as mad about true buying them out and gassing me as I am if I didn't love what they're doing. To Patrick Lefebvre, Stefan Trache, Veronica Lefebvre, everybody at the Lefebvre place, thank you for giving me the opportunity to use the gear. Thank you for turning me into a believer. Thank you for making equipment that has changed my fucking game. Am I upset that you guys are going with true and I'm not going to be associated with you moving forward? Yes. I would love to be working with Lefebvre in the future. I want to make videos that are honest and I, I tell you if this is good stuff or not. I'm not here to help companies sell equipment. I'm here to help people make informed decisions that this is the best stuff. If you watch the videos over the course of time, you'll see there's some equipment that I get very fast and I don't use it after. If you see that, I probably didn't like it. Am I ditching my 20.1s? Not anytime soon. I'm going to use them until they got no life left and then I got to spend money because I am cheap. And I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. J Pool 14 is the big European ice much different for a goalie. Dude, this is a night and day comparison. North American ice has a certain size and I've been playing on that for 20 plus years. So I'm used to when a guy moves to a certain spot, I have to move X amount. Now you factor in those extra couple feet, now my angles are up. Now I have to adjust. And on top of that, the players are different. These guys are holding the puck longer. They're passing around. They're moving it east, west, east, west. It's like playing a different game, but you're still playing the same game. I hope that makes sense. I can't put it into words unless you've actually get into the situation and you see, okay, these guys play very differently, but it's a big change. How comfortable do you feel right now with your overall game? Over the summer, I made some adjustments to my game with Guy St. V, Steve McKeegan, all those people to try to accommodate the European game. And then when I finally got into a game over here, all that went out the window and it was like, okay, we didn't prepare fully enough. We gotta make some adjustments. Now that I've made those adjustments and I've been here for almost two months, I feel very, very, very comfortable with my game. If I was to go back home and play North American ice, I don't know how comfortable I would feel because I'm used to European ice now. Jack Rye, 35, how long will you stay for in Sweden? Well. I'm either going to get sent home or gassed, I'm going to get arrested and deported, or my contract will end, or my traveler's visa expires in like 30 days from now. So one of those four will have me out of the country first. Which one? Well, we'll find out together. Benoit J95 wants to know, what does your roommate do? Is he on the team? Him and I were on the team. We were living together, played together at VIU. That's how we know each other. I got him to come here, which I still feel bad about. Now he's on his own separate way, having success with another team. Sam Z wants to know, how did you convince your roommate to join you in Sweden? I basically told Sweden, hey, remember when we were getting scratched at VIU and how much that sucked? What's going to happen again this year when coronavirus kills the VIU season. He was still playing at VIU. He did two years. I did one. I quit after one year. And I basically was like, hey, come on down. Let's live together. And I conned him into it. And he came on down and he's hated me ever since. Dahmer, what are the best pro laces to get? 
These are prolaces, and if you're gonna get a set, I would recommend my own personal spec, the Trav Spec Prolaces. They're 40% longer, they disperse the strain from the skate evenly. Code Trav sucks, link in the description, you gotta get a pair. Have you found some blonde Swedish twins yet? No, but if you're interested in that vacant position, you can inquire through Instagram direct messages at me personally, at trav Oilers on Instagram, and our team will get back to you within one to 10 business days. This is the craziest question today. Trace Willis wants to know, will you collab with our king, PewDiePie? Do you think that guy gives a shit about me? That guy probably wipes his ass with guys like me on a daily basis. PewDiePie does not give a f about guys like me. Did you prefer your Fed experience or your Swedish experience? Well, my Fed experience was very short-lived. It was probably like a week and a half of an experience. I'd say I enjoy the Fed culture more in the FHL. I like the culture better over there. I like the living situation here better because I've been here longer and I haven't been gassed yet. I quit Flemingsburg. I didn't cut. Biggest difference between Stockholm and Winnipeg? No Winnipeg Jets. The thing you miss most about Winnipeg? My cat. Is college hockey going to be considered in the future? That's the whole reason I came here, dude. I want to finish my degree. I got two more years left in my business degree. I got four years of Canadian college hockey eligibility. I'd like to do three. I'd like to get better, develop my game, work my craft for three years because you can't tell me I'm not going to be a better goaltender in three years than I am from now. I love being a goaltender. I love playing the game. I love making these videos. It's a perfect outlet. Do I think Canadian college hockey for the levels that I'm going to be able to play at is going to be back anytime soon? I've already been told half the teams in the Alberta College League have folded. They haven't announced it, but they're going to be announcing it soon. And the BCI is a tight budget, like the British Columbia Hockey League. It's a very, very tight run, tight budget league. Am I optimistic? No, I don't think those options are gonna be back anytime soon. I would love to, and I would love to go play college hockey next year. I don't think it's gonna be realistic. Trevor K. Tracy, I hear there are statues of King Henrik Lundqvist on every street corner of most major cities. Is that true? That is not true, but I think we should start a petition to make it true, because the King is one of the greatest goaltenders of all time. Easily, in my opinion, the greatest Swedish hockey player of all time. We need more statues of Henrik Lundqvist with all of his setups. Nasty Bauer setups on the corners of every major city and major street. Dylan Lickman, how do you tuck your jersey so nicely? This is something I take a lot of pride in. So the fact that this came up in the Q&A and it comes up in the comment section sometimes, I get so stoked. The perfect jersey tuck is oversized pants that are baggy and a big fat chest protector and a slightly, slightly oversized jersey because the oversized jersey flaps will tuck into the pants it is great style. When you're taking Tinder pictures and Instagram profile pictures and you're giving up 15 goals a game, they will have no idea you give up 15 goals a game by how nasty that jersey tuck is. Lemmy wants to know, did you always play at the best level when you were young? No, I cracked AAA for the first time when I was 16 because I used a fake address to get into the catchment area for that AAA team. When I played AAA Hawks when I was 16, City Midget, I was getting tired of getting cut every year, so I said to my mom, hey, let's use a fake address. I don't give a f I just want to play for this AAA team. Use a fake address. We didn't even live there. Well, guess what? I cracked the team, and I'm probably not here making videos. I probably never played Junior A, Junior B, any of that shit if I didn't do that. So I never played at the highest levels growing up, but that was a big turning point for me. Zach Hockey 30. Ooh, I can tell you about this. Best action camera. So this is the Insta360 1R, one inch edition. I've talked about a lot last little bit. It's a modular action camera. I don't use GoPro anymore. I don't like GoPro. I don't support GoPro. It comes apart so the screen is facing towards you. Now I turn around, it's facing towards me. I can see what I'm filming. I put the battery back on and everything. And this thing is awesome. You have a 4K mod, you have a 5K mod, you do 360, it does everything. Insta360 has a brand new 1X2 coming out. It's a brand new 360 cam, but if you want to pick up an Insta360 ONE R or any of the stuff that I use, action cameras, pro laces, the links are in the description for everything I use with promo codes and discounts. Meeker, how much of a pain was it to get your visa? I didn't. I got a traveler's permit, so I'm allowed to be here for 90 days, and then I got to apply for extension. That brings us to today's video sponsor. This is the wallet you currently own and somehow haven't replaced in the last 10 years. What's that piece of that? It's like a bison's penis. What is that? This is the wallet that you should be owning. A Ridge wallet. Basically my last name on the goddamn thing. You know it's good. It's literally a matter of you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. It. You think you're safe, everything's boom. You've been replaced. It's time to upgrade, get a Ridge wallet today. You can avoid all the drama of getting dumped by your girlfriend by picking up a Ridge wallet today. Yes, she will leave you if you don't have a Ridge wallet. And luckily the folks at Ridge Wallet's got a lifetime warranty on these things. It's stylish, it's portable, it's snappy, and it feels good in the hands. That's a big key here, people. I've been using my Ridge wallet for a couple months now and I love it. I wouldn't use anything else. I hate having the old big dumpster wallet full of cash, full of cards, full of all the stuff going everywhere. It's sloppy, it's gross. Ridge Wallet has everything. And if you go to the link in the description and go to ridgewallets.com and use the promo code TRAVSUCKS, you can save yourself 10% on your Ridge Wallets order. And thanks to Ridge Wallets as always for cutting me a nice big fatty to sponsor today's video. The dumpster Bear wants to know, what is the Swedish specific fast food that is good? People were telling me Burger King's health food, McDonald's is health food, it is not health food. Burger King, I'm on the throne just as, if not faster here than I am back home. The McDonald's menu is a slightly more intricate menu, which I do appreciate. The chicken McSalsa, oh, the chicken McSalsa, highly recommend the chicken McSalsa. Favorite thing about living in Sweden, no masks, no Rona, no rules, baby. I love it. Macker, do you miss Canada? Maple syrup, double doubles, my cat, 
A lot of things are missable in Canada. Q Snipes, how can we get a team jersey? You don't. You go to the link in the description and pick up some of the awesome products discounted, like Pro Laces, like the Insta 361R, with the discount code Trav Sucks for a smoking discount, discounts, and links in the video description below. Best restaurant you've been to so far in Sweden. That deli that Daniels and Sweden's and I went to the other day with the meatballs and gravy. I got the meatball sauce, mashed potatoes. Probably one of the best meals I've had in my life, period. Fabian Goy 25, your favorite vlogging place. If you've been around for a while and you've been watching the videos and you've seen the videos that I make in Winnipeg, which is where I'm from, probably one of my favorite places is going down by the water by the, the Provence Bridge and the Human Rights Museum. Just, it's really peaceful, it's very relaxing. I love the, the sensation of being around water, kind of like when I was living in Nanaimo. I love being by the ocean. Things will change quite a bit when I go back home because it's not gonna be the same Considering that the videos in Sweden here have been taking off, which is awesome. I'm very thankful for, but hopefully everybody wants to stick around to watch what I'm gonna do back home. My former roommate and personal friend, Liam Sweeney, wants to know top three schools you'd play for, Canada or the US. I would not play for a school in the US, mostly because I don't want to spend twenty thousand dollars a year for schooling. If I was to play in Canada and I had my personal choice, I can go anywhere. I would love to play for the U of M Bisons because I'd love to be home, I'd love to be in Winnipeg playing college hockey. I'd love to go back to VIU. Just I know despite how that was a debacle, I would still love an opportunity to go make things right and make the most of my time at VIU if I had the opportunity. Number three, if I start saying college names, then I'm going <laughs> to be singling out other colleges. I really like my, my trip to Briarcrest. I'll be honest, like Coach Brad Cole, I don't know if he's still around by the time this video goes up or what Briarcrest is doing, but when I went to my recruit trip there last year, he was great. The guys are great. I felt welcome. I felt part of the family, even though I wasn't even on the team. I was only there for like three or four days. Definitely Briarcrest. It, it was awesome. I'm not religious by any means, but it was a very good experience. Thanks for watching today's Q&A video. If you have a Q&A question that you want me to answer, leave in the comment section below. I will try my best to get into the next Q&A video. Let's be honest, there's been a lot of comments, a lot of traction happening in the videos lately. I can't get everyone in the video, but I'll try my best. I'm going to McDonald's.